occupational hazard. And um, it was a little more intensive than I thought it was going to be. And I don't know that I ever would do it again just because, but by tomorrow I'll probably feel differently. So a few, a few last minute lessons learned, um, tips and tricks. Okay, so these ropes honestly are for decorative purposes only. At the, in the end, I just really was not comfortable that the angles were completely right to use them as support. This is probably the only one that truly is providing support. But what I did was I built, is there somebody up there? Yeah. Oh, I, I built, yeah, uh -huh. awesome, get down. I built these um, ladders and because they come straight down to the floor, they don't take up really any extra space and they provide extra support for the beds. So you don't really need these, but they look pretty cool. And then I might add, so I got these at Lowe's, these lights, these are just battery powered LED lights. They're not very bright. Um, so they're not great reading lights. I got the boys all their own reading lights, book lights, whatever, that they could clip to the, whatever you want to call safety rail. I'm so exhausted. I don't even, the other thing I will say that I learned is on these, when you're making the ladder, I had tried to use a Craig screw. And that just really was not making me feel, I'm all about things being able to hold about 600 pounds because I know how these boys are. So what I did was, please bring the video camera this way. Um, on the back here, you can see I used T-bars and I just attached them that way. So many of them only have T-bars. Some of them, this one's the Craig screw was really secure. So I left it that way. Some of them have the Craig screw and the T-bar. So whatever it takes to make it feel uber supportive. And with the knots, we kind of just made this up. David knows some sort of a fisherman tying type knot, so we did that. And that was really the end of it. We got these great mattresses at Ikea. They are the Sultan Harestua version. They were $99. I have to say they're extraordinarily comfortable. And that was about all that I can think of in terms of lessons learned. So to make these... Super simple, as you can see, obviously it's just two by fours. These are cragged up into um, the top. Can't really crag them down because you can't get your drill in there. So I just drilled up from the bottom and I just went right up into this. So they're not going anywhere. I mean, this is like the most secure thing in the world. And as you can tell and probably have seen kids crawling down in the background, they'll just climb, Jack who's on the top, will just climb from here to here and then go around and climb up to there. So he doesn't even use his ladder. So I'm so glad I built it, but it still looks cool and it's still there. So that's it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. But, uh, and, and if you're gonna do this, definitely let me know because three in one room, I'd like to see what you guys come up with.